Matt here with Mobile Solar Consulting. Today we're going to show you how to set up automatic generator start, known as AGS, from several Victron devices. We're going to start with the BMV712 and then we'll move on to some others. We are a distributor and installer of Victron's products, so we'll be linking all the products used in today's video in the description. For those who don't know, the BMV712 is a battery monitor. So that's basically a fuel gauge for your battery. It's gonna show you what percentage is remaining so you know how much energy is still left in your battery bank. The BMV712 specifically is very, very similar to the Smart Shunt. The only difference is that it has this display unit. So not only do you have the Bluetooth, the same as the Smart Shunt, but you also have this front display which is gonna show you the percentage. And then also the display has a relay on the back. The relay on the back of this display unit can do several things, one of which is to start your generator. So we're gonna show you how to do that. First, we're gonna show you how to connect this to a two wire start generator. But if you have something that requires a three wire signal like an Onan, We'll talk about that at the end. First things first, you're gonna locate the two wire start on your generator. When you close this contact, the generator runs, and when you open this contact, the generator stops. So you're gonna run two wires from this point on your generator, and you can use an 18 gauge wire for this. Run those wires up to the display unit on your BMV. Crimp a ferrule on the end of the wires, and plug them into the COM and NO port. It does not matter which wire goes in the COM port and which wire goes in the NO port. COM stands for common and normally open is NO. Once you've done that, you're done with the wiring. Now we're gonna move on to programming. So open up Victron Connect on your phone and click on your BMV712. Click on the gear icon in the top right corner to open the settings menu and then click relay to adjust the relay settings. Now it's possible and also popular to use state of charge to start your generator. However, I don't really recommend this because your battery monitor is making an estimate of your battery's state of charge. It can always be wrong. So even if you use state of charge as your way to start your generator, I also recommend setting up the voltage trigger as a secondary backup. Click on low voltage relay. Make sure to enable this and change the set value to 12.4 volts and the clear value to 13.4 volts. This will mean the generator is gonna start around 20% and then stop around 50%. Feel free to adjust these values to however you want this to work. Now, if you're running this to a generator that requires a three wire start, which is a stop signal and a start signal instead of a maintain signal, a good example of that generator is an Onan, which is pretty popular in RVs. So if you've got one of those, you're gonna need a three wire start. And to make that possible, you'll use an elevation AGS module. So you're gonna set up your two wire start. You'll take your two wires from your NO and your COM on the Victron BMV, and you'll run them to the elevation AGS. And then the elevation AGS converts that to a three wire signal so you run three wires from the elevation to your generator. If you purchase the elevation from us, we provide a free wire diagram that shows you where those wires connect into your own gen as well. So like we said in the beginning of the video, this is how you do it on the BMV, but to do it on many other Victron devices, it's almost exactly the same for wiring. It's just different programming. So we're now gonna go through and show you how to program the relays on Victron's Smart Solar MPPTs, 150, 60, and bigger, as well as Victron's MultiPlus and Victron's Serbo GX. Make sure you're using a Smart Solar 150, 60, or larger because those have a relay. Click on the Settings button, go to Relay, select Relay Mode as Battery Voltage Low. Set the minimum close time to anything you want your generator to run for at a minimum. So for example, 30 minutes. The battery voltage low relay can turn on at 12.4 and then off at 13.4. And you're done. On the Serbo GX, make sure to use relay one. 
Relay 2 does not have the AGS function. So once you've got the wiring done, go to the touch screen, click on settings, and look for relay. On relay one, set it to generator start stop. Now to actually set the generator start stop rules, we'll go back and scroll until we see generator start stop. Turn on auto start functionality and go to settings. Next we'll pick a minimum runtime and let's just keep it consistent. We'll go to 30 minutes. So if your generator turns on for any reason, it's not gonna let it run less than 30 minutes before turning off, even if you meet the conditions for the battery to turn off. So again, you can do battery state of charge. You can do a whole bunch of different functions on the servo. It's definitely the most feature rich, but again, I always recommend voltage as the primary. So you can have the start be 12.4 and then the stop can be whatever you'd like. 13.4 is what we used on the previous one. This is nice because you can also set a delay of 60 seconds or really anything you'd like. You can go higher, you can go lower, so you can set a delay. So for example, if your air conditioner kicks on and you briefly touch 12.4 volts, it's not gonna start the generator as long as your battery voltage recovers within 60 seconds. For the inverter, once you've got your generator wiring done, you're going to connect your MK3 to your computer and then to your inverter as well. I'm gonna open up VE config three and you're gonna to go to the assistance tab. This is where you're gonna do the setup, but usually your assistance tab will be disabled because you've got virtual switch enabled just by default. So we're gonna to go to the virtual switch tab, turn off virtual switch, and then go back to the assistance tab, click add assistant, click relay and click, click programmable relay. Starting the assistant will help us you know, set it up. We're gonna use the primary programmable relay. We're gonna turn the generator on under the following conditions. DC voltage, ignore those, and we'll just do when the DC input is lower then 12.4 volts for 10 seconds. Perfect, we're done, but this is gonna start your generator. It's not going to turn it off, so we've got to add another assistant of the same style, set it up, turn the generator off when the DC voltage is above 13.4. seconds. So just to point out, this is really nice to do this with the MultiPlus or the Servo because you've got a whole lot of features. You can set the relay on or off based on a variety of triggers. The MPPT and the BMV have several less options. So once you're done with those settings, you'll just click send settings. And that's going to upload those settings into your inverter and you're good to go. If you need help programming or wiring your system to auto start your generator, don't hesitate to reach out.